was my paper rolling back. I was like, what is that weird noise? <laughs> okay, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome back to our Sims 4 Bachelor series. I'm a little bit out of it today, so it might be a bit more of a laid back Bachelor stream, but it's gonna be one of the most dramatic episodes, I feel like, uh, which I will get into in a moment if you haven't heard me talk about it before. But it'll be a fun time <laughs> nonetheless. My energy will pick up as we go on and, and I get into it, I'm sure. But uh, it's it's going to be a little bit different than we're used to this week because we're down to the top nine. I'll go over who the top nine are if you don't remember once we get back into it. You know, we'll see the ladies standing there as usual. Uh, since we're getting down to the wire, we only have nine people left. Uh, there's going to be no group date this week. So our, our days of the seven lowest girls <laughs> uh, going on the group date are over, and our days of three girls an episode going home are also over. So this week, instead of the group date, we're going to be having a two-on-one, which means that the two girls with the lowest scores will be going on a date by themselves with Devante. They're going to have the same amount of time that they usually have on a group date. Uh, although, like, probably more from noon to 8 p.m., because it's going to take up the whole time. There's not going to be any individual time with one of them on this date, but they have those eight hours to impress Devante. And then whoever still has the lowest total score, uh, friendship and romantic combined, by the end of the date is going to be sent home immediately. So only one girl is still going to be coming back to the house with Devante after the two-on-one date. So... That will be very tense for everyone. Oh, headphones. So they better put in work in this mingle day is what I'm saying if they don't want to go on the two-on-one and have to be put through that stress. And then whoever doesn't go home will be getting a rose and be safe for the week and doesn't have to worry. But we'll see who that is. And then at the rose ceremony, uh, well, we're going to have a one-on-one -on -one date, like always, and a party. So all of that will be the same. And then at the rose ceremony, only one other person is going home. So only two people total are leaving this week. Just one's leaving at the beginning of the episode, <laughs> pretty much. But I think that's about it. Let me make sure my game capture is framed correctly. And then we will jump in to our day of mingling. So, oh. OBS, please. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. So I am I have us over at the picture wall here, so you can see that uh, Haven, who went home last week, Haven, Jordan, and Posey. Oh, they're like all right next to each other. <laughs> All of them are grayed out now. It's looking pretty sparse on our picture wall here. All uh, the colored pictures are few and far between. Bottom row is killing it. Top row, not so much, but, you know. Let's go over to the people who are still around. So, I don't have to work until 1245. Wonderful. Glad to hear that, babe. So you can be around for the whole thing. Yay. <laughs> Uh, so here is your top nine. We have Rosabelle, Delphine, Tuesday, Haley, Angie, Elva, Reagan, Johanna, and Pearl, of course. I'm going to hit play here. Uh, we'll turn the volume back on. <laughs> and we'll let them mingle for all of today. As always, it's only 4 a.m. Don't mind the, the backyard. It's a setup for the party later because I didn't want to have to take time on stream to make it like I did for the dance party last week. <laughs> Uh, but we'll talk about the party later. I've changed their outfits and everything for this one. It'll be fun. It should be pretty. And as always, everyone's just kind of straggling around. Um, I have already looked at the results of the favorites poll, of course, and we typically have a pretty wide spread of votes again this time, but it'll definitely help them for the mingling period. In this episode, as always, they'll get a friendly interaction for each vote that they've gotten in the favorites poll. There we go. Devante's finally headed inside. Is this? Okay. Doors are unlocked. Good. 
Oh my goodness, everyone made it in relatively quickly today. See, I told you, the less sims that are in the house, the more they'll start actually doing shit again and less lag. Reagan's in here doing some yoga, it looks like. See where everyone else went to, see if they have any whims about Devante. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> A new dream woman has entered the race. <laughs> Oh, that's terrifying. I hate that. Okay. Oh, Devante, what are you doing in their bedroom? Excuse me, sir. I mean, we know he's pretty forward from the past few weeks. Um, let's see. She doesn't have any whims yet. I'm not expecting many people to have whims about Devante, but, you know. Always give it a shot, especially some of the ones who are feeling flirty. I mean, they might. We'll see if Devonta has any wounds about any of the ladies as well. And then we will get into giving the interactions for the favorites poll and let you guys know those results. So Johanna wants to woohoo with Devonte, but I think she's still, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, she is still jealous because she saw Devonte flirting with Reagan at the party, and I think that made her realize how much she actually really likes Devonte. And it made her really sad to actually see him flirt with other people, so we're getting down to it. Feelings are going to start getting hurt because people are, you know, really growing those feelings for each other. Which is good, though, because you want to at least have some kind of romantic connection with him by this point in the competition. Otherwise, it might be bad news bears for you. Everyone's, like, always embarrassed, but it's their own damn fault. What is this about fire? Oh, become angry. That's fine. You're not allowed to start fires, though. We're done with that shit. <laughs> well, Dauphine wants to become friends with Rosabelle, which is really cute and sweet, but... You know. Not conducive to why we're here. Oh, Reagan has one about him still, right? Right, Reagan still wants to have her first kiss with Devante. Oh, poor thing. Oh, so if you don't... Remember last week, uh, they did have some one-on-one time after the group date, uh, Reagan and Devante, but she just went straight in confessing her attraction, and it was a little too intense for him, kind of made things cool off between them, because Reagan's really feeling it, I don't know how much, uh, Devante's really feeling it. Or maybe he was just thrown off by her sudden, like, admission of deep feelings, you know? Elva's feeling lusty, our unflirty queen, <laughs> so that's interesting. Oh, chance to get to know Delphine. And then Haley wants to get to know Johanna, so I like seeing the girls become closer friends too, you know. Look, if they want to find love with each other outside the competition, if they're gonna stay out of the competition, then by all means. I, we kicked out all of the people who started affairs before they came into the main house, so. No real drama there to bring up. I was kind of hoping, Loki, since they're gone, I'll say this. Part of me was sort of hoping that either Posey or Jessica would make it to hometown dates because, I mean, obviously I was gonna have them, like, Devante meet their kids, and then he'd find out who they had kids with, and we could have had some drama, but say la vie, that will not be a part of this season, at least. Okay, let's put the walls down so I can see things better. Okay, I will have Devante go use the bathroom real quick and then we will get into was the fridge broken or it's just dirty well you you can fix it being dirty you know that right there's also a maid that should be here at some point she's kind of trash though ironically enough not a very good maid
Are you stuck in the bed? <laughs> Why did you walk into the bed if you were gonna get stuck in it, my dude? Hello. Once I at least take care of his bladder need, then we will get into the favor pull interactions. If I didn't say that. There we go. I think he should be working now. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Oh, I'm getting it kind of close to Delphine there. He went to the bathroom. <laughs> okay, let's just start at the beginning of our list here. Again, I wrote it down in the order that the portraits were before I closed out of the game last time, but... $19,000 in bills. I think that calls for another mother load. <laughs> you know, I guess I'll have Devante pay for the bills first and then we'll get to it. But I'm just going to go down my list that I've written down here. Uh, and first on the list is Angie. Angie has received one vote this week, so we'll go throw an interaction her way real quick. Come on, Sims. How was everyone's Halloween yesterday? Because it is November 1st. Oh my god, it's November already. That's so crazy. It doesn't feel like that much of the year has gone by, but... Had a pretty good... Halloween overall. Just kind of hung out. had a friend over and we were up like talking and drinking for a long time so <laughs> that's part of why I'm sort of exhausted today but shh, it's fine <laughs> okay I'm gonna have him go over and actually start interacting with Angie now that our bills are all paid but yes tell me about your guys' Halloweens if you did anything or not won the costume contest oh nice then got yelled at we were gonna get sued so mixed I guess wait the fuck <laughs> why would you get sued oh oh he's got a couple whims about people he wants to all right god damn it he wants Haley to turn him into a vampire again jumping the shark my dude stop and he wants to cloud gaze with Rosabelle we will definitely get to that at some point today then cool <laughs> I'm excited you won the costume contest though, Jenna. That's great. God, woohoo with Johanna. I'm not doing that yet. We know, we know you're into her. Sued for three dollars. Oh? No, risky hookup. I was just gonna say that Slice of Life did update and I assumed it took the autonomy levels down. He wants to make out with Johanna. I'll leave that one. Um, it at least took the autonomy levels of general hookups and the bullying text down, it seems. But I still don't want them constantly, like, hooking up all of the time. I just don't know how consistent it's going to be. So I canceled that one out. <laughs> I want to wait until at least next week before I just let him continue, sleeps, uh, continue to sleep around with everyone. So, Alright, his interaction with Angie did go well, though. We're just going to cut that short before they head out to the bush in the backyard again. Next on the list is Tuesday. Tuesday has received two votes this week, so Tuesday gets a couple interactions. She usually does have at least two, it seems like. We will head over there. Um, let's go gossip, yeah. Spill the tea. Why is everyone so exhausted? <laughs> I'm gonna bump their energies up a tiny bit. Why is Devante all embarrassed? Just because of that 
Awkward mm-hmm. socialization. Was that because I stopped him and Angie from Rita. fucking in a bush? Like, <laughs> I don't need to be embarrassed. She seemed like she was into it. It was production stopping you, so... Johanna's really just standing in the middle of this. Oh, oh, and he's flirting with Tuesday and stuff now, too. Or hooking up. Stop it. <gasps> I know my face cam was kind of covering the top of her head, but did you see that look that Johanna just gave him? Oh, poor thing. That's longer now because she saw another flirt, I'm pretty sure. Oof. <laughs> okay. Tuesday's out of the way. We'll move on to Rosabelle, who is sleeping, but we will wake her up. Um, and then I will have them cloud gaze as well, since he really wants to do that with her. But Rosabelle also got two votes, so she gets two interactions as well. Good job. Talk about the sunny weather. That's like a good lead in to maybe doing some cloud gazing. Why does she look all upset? She's kind of cute when she's upset. That's a bad thing to say. <laughs> um, ask for reassurance, maybe. Yeah. And then we will ask her to cloud gaze once they're done interacting here. She does not sound happy. Wait, why is she sad? Oh, baby fever. Oh, damn. Oh, Rosabelle wants to get knocked up. You got a couple more weeks left in the competition, babe, before that happens. But, you know, listen. It's a possibility in the future. Okay. <laughs> They're doing, like, a bunch of mischief interactions back and forth, but... Oh, she didn't like that one, though. She's already sad. You made her cry. <laughs> Good job, Devante. We'll let them go outside and cloud gaze a little, though. Oh, Haley, why are you always standing in the yard, you vampire? You're gonna get killed. <laughs> the maid's finally here, at least. He likes to cloud gaze with Rosabelle a lot. This is the, what, second or third time this has come up? I mean, it's cute, though. Okay, I won't let them do this forever. Maybe till like 1 p.m. in game. Why is Delphine so angry? It's just moody. Okay. I feel that girl. So I need some Sims advice. Go for it, Jenna. I don't know that I'll be able to help, but I'll do my best. <laughs> what do you need, girly? Mm, do I want to let Tuesday continue grilling? I put everyone's cooking skill to level 5, so we should be okay. I just... I'm scared. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's 1 p.m. Let's stop cloud gazing. That was a nice little outing for them, you know. Shh, you're fine. Pause it and let the game catch up a little before I move on to Delphine. Delphine is next on my list. And Delphine got one vote this week, so she, she gets one interaction. Which I'm sure is fine. I don't think she needs a ton of extra help, so I'm not too, I'm not too worried about her. <laughs> Only getting... One extra one this week. Oh, she looks so upset though, so I'm kind of scared that their conversation is going to go badly, but. Um, compliment her outfit. Maybe make her feel better. I could have done Brighton Day too, but. Let's say something nice to her. Hopefully, this will go well. I have a last exception error, so I uploaded it to the last exception assistant, but. And they have no idea what's wrong. Oh no. I hate when that kind of shit happens. Um, did you upload it, like, in the MC Command Center Discord, like, the Deadpool Discord, and have them look at it? Or did you go to the website where you can upload your last exception file and get an easier-to-read version? Oh, and he wants to be friendly to Johanna. Okay, we'll do, we'll do that as well. 
The website. Okay, that's what I usually do too. <laughs> oh, he's flirting. He's flirting with her. Okay. Cool. She's into it. She's still angry, but <gasps> she keeps being mischievous to him, though, and I don't know if that's gonna go over super well. He didn't love it last time she did. <laughs> um, but I use the website usually too. I never upload it to just the Discord. That feels so. <laughs> Intimidating to me. Um, if the website doesn't know, you can ask them in the Discord. Or, I mean, it's fucking annoying, but the best thing to do is just like the 50 50 method and take out all your mods except for MC Command Center first. Uh, see if you still get it, because then it might be just need to re download MC Command Center and then start putting mods back in, like, half of them back in, see if you still get it. If you don't, then if it's in the other half, and then put on half of the half that's left, and, like, etc. until you narrow it down to the file that's giving you issues. Which is, it's so annoying, but... What the fuck is happening? Oh, <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have him move on from this conversation, but uh, next is Reagan, who also got one vote, so we'll find her and interact with her a bit. But yeah, the annoying long ass fifty fifty method is what I probably recommend trying. If like the website can't really figure it out, or if it's not like fucking up your game. <laughs> just leave it. <laughs> I totally ignore them sometimes because I just can't be bothered. Breaking was just working out. Let's go discuss fitness text techniques. That seems appropriate. Reading the error and it says something about traits and I downloaded some new traits so maybe that's it. Oh, maybe. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, maybe try taking out the traits you downloaded and see if you still get it and then putting them back in in batches of like two or three. See if we can narrow it down to which one is giving you the issue. But if it's not breaking your game in any way, then I don't know. Did you... You didn't talk to her, did you? She just walked over here for no reason, and then you sat there silent. <laughs> Discuss fitness techniques. Take the traits out and see what happens. Sounds good. Let me know if you need any more help, Jenna. I hate when mods are huh? annoying like that. <laughs> The struggle of being a simmer who uses custom content. Also having a little convo on the bed like him and Delphine about life in the universe, apparently. Ah, uh, Makosa. They're getting along, though, which is good to see. Oh, there's a little bit of, like, a romantic heart up there. Nope, you're not hooking up. Yes. If you want to flirt with her, sure. Oh, does she ask a risque yeah. question and then... Oh my god, she just keeps being real forward with him and then he's not into it. Oh! Be yelled at by Reagan. Oh no. That didn't go super duper well. I like I That makes sense for Reagan to yell at him though. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna stop this interaction before it gets any worse, though. Oh, no. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, I got luxury party stuff, so now I finally have my sexy suit. Nice, Jenna. Congrats. Okay, I forgot there was a pretty good sexy suit in that, in that pack. There's some nice evening gown, like, fancy type shit in there. Congrats. Slowly occurring more and more <laughs> content. I like it. Where the fuck is Joanna? Okay. Oh, she's very sad. She is not happy. Woof. Okay. And exhausted, which I'm going to fix real quick because Johanna's next on her list. Um, well, Elva's next on my list, but Elva did not get any votes, so she gets no extra interactions. <laughs> Johanna got two, though, so we will go give her two interactions, and we will also um, tell engaging story, sure. We'll take care of these whims about her as well. Oof, after an aggravating conversation. I feel like it would make sense for him to want to go talk to Johanna since she's definitely one that he gets along with. The best? I don't know. One of the best, at least. The poor girl looks so sad. 
I don't know if there's anything he can say to try and ease her worries. The little kiss on the cheek was cute. Did we talk about open-mindedness? No, no, I'm gonna have them have a deep conversation, actually. That feels like what it would be. Like a deep conversation about their feelings for each other. Maybe she talks about how she's been feeling, you know, even more for him than she was expecting. And then she's just kind of down. Because she doesn't like seeing him with the other women anymore. We can discuss it, though. Oh, and he wants to compliment her. That's cute. We can totally compliment her. I don't know if we should do... I don't want to do compliment appearance. And push the, like, romantic. If that's not exactly what he got the whim for, you know. But we can compliment her outfit. That'll, that'll count. Oh, and he wants to make out with her, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, don't make her even more sad. What are you doing? Ugh. Okay, he's feeling even more angry now, and I'm really scared he's gonna say some shit that's mean to her. Give fake bad nudes. Yeah, we're gonna stop this interaction. <laughs> because we have someone else that we need to move on and talk to as well, and then I'll... We're making good time today. We will let him just do whatever the hell he wants for the last few hours, but... Uh, Pearl's next on the list, but she got zero votes, so... We're moving on to the last girl we need to tend to, which is Haley is doing awfully for some reason. Um, she's just sad because she's gloomy though. Haley got one vote so we're gonna go up and give an interaction to her real quick up in the gaming room. No, I said stop. Don't be rude to Joanna. <laughs> just because Reagan pissed you off. Remade my 100 baby house that's looking fresh to death. Fucking nice, Jenna. Where are you at with your 100 babies now? I feel like you've got to be getting really close, which is so impressive, but... Haley got and Haley got one. Okay. We'll talk about our life achievements with her. Oh, and good! He's kind of cooled down on his way up to talk to Haley, so he's not feeling angry anymore. That's a good sign. That's helpful. So hopefully this won't turn really bad. <laughs> A poor little sad face. Hopefully talking to him is like cheering her up though. 50 is a toddler and matriarch is Pregante. Nice. Halfway there then. That's, that's still incredibly impressive. <laughs> Do you have like a nice big house at this point then? Why is everyone being so mischievous today and like giving each other fake bad news? Stop. What? Okay, alright. That didn't ruin their conversation though. He was into it. That's like, I feel like the first mischief interaction was someone that didn't warrant a negative relationship mark for at least someone. <laughs> <laughs> she's talking about teeth and then sunlight. I feel like she's talking about some vampire shit. Okay, nothing like flirty or anything, but they're having a good. Oh, they're taking drugs together. Nice. <laughs> Sure. They're having a good friendly conversation at least. Oh, there we go. Nope. Not risky hookup, but appreciate the sentiment. <laughs> Glad to know that you're at least attracted to her. Uh, not too big because it takes forever for the kids to walk anywhere, but I did have to make it bigger for... Try for baby, stop it. God. So you'd have to make it bigger for growing number of portraits of my children. <laughs> Fair. Hey, Marty. Welcome, welcome. How are you tonight? We are just winding down our day of mingling right now. Yeah, I don't know what the hell you two thought you were gonna go do in that bush, but... We're just gonna kind of take Devante over here. I'm gonna put Pearl over here as well, just cause... 
Pearl and Elva are like the two that didn't get any interactions today, and so if they autonomously want to try shit, go for it, but I'm not gonna make them do anything else, so. That's all the favorite vote <laughs> interactions. Oh, oh, he wants to chat with Rosabelle. Okay, we can- oh my god. We can bring Rosabelle over here then, bring her into a conversation that'll maybe, hopefully, spark the rest of them maybe starting a conversation too. A long shot, but you know. Oh, we got best friends. Oh, they're getting really close. We'll just brighten her day, though. Oh, look at that soccer. Premonitions of university. <laughs> oh, I asked Johanna to be girlfriend. Not yet, buddy. Them their damn fishing spots. Of course they're talking about fishing. Then <laughs> find a new type of t fish, Tam Tambaki. Sure. Wait, did that not go through? I'll be funny with her. Oh, are we starting a compliment appearance or way? God, he keeps choosing bad times to flirt like right in front of Johanna. She is not happy about that ever. He wants to be funny with her. Oh gosh, okay. It's like 8 p.m. So I'm gonna throw a funny interaction her way. Joke about ducks, sure. I didn't see what that romantic one was, but... <laughs> Elva reprimanding them for being romantic, as always. Okay. We got that whim done. That was a nice conversation, but it is a little past 8 p.m., which means it's time for Devante to head back upstairs, be sequestered away from everyone. The mingling time is over for the night. Once the game loads and puts him up there. <laughs> Hello. There we go, thank you. Okay, so, I will save here real quick, and then we're going to take a very short commercial break, um, as usual here, so that I can tally up the scores for everyone after their day of mingling. Uh, oh, weather was pretty rough for me this morning. Power went out because of the wind. I'm all right. It's been a day. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Marty. Uh, I get it. Yesterday was disgusting here. It was, like, super rainy and sleety the entire time, and it was awful weather, which is probably why pretty much no one was out trick-or-treating. We got no trick-or-treaters at our door for Halloween, but that's fine. Like, I'm good eating all the candy on our own. <laughs> and I still find dressing up even if no one really showed up. It's more for me to have fun anyways. <laughs> but I'm... Sorry, the weather's all rough there as well, Marty. And I hope you had a good Halloween. We can talk about your Halloween once we get back. But for now, yes, I am going to switch it to commercial break real quick. So I will tally up these scores and we will see which two have the lowest and we'll be going on our dreaded two-on-one date when we come back. So stay tuned. You can speculate if y'all wish, of course, and then we will be right back. All right, you guys. Hello. Welcome back. We've done all of our score tallying and um yeah it's gonna be kind of a dramatic two-on-one actually it's shaked out a kind of tense not exactly what i was expecting but i think that day of mingling really changed some stuff but we'll figure out who those two are at noon delphine has decided to crash outside by the pool at night <laughs> but let me get caught up with you guys while everyone takes care of themselves during the night here. Why do you look so sad? Oh, everyone's just crashed everywhere. Are two people right here? No, that's just Angie. Okay. It looked like it was glitching with another person for a second. Okay. Oh, you got free cake. Nice, Jenna. Yeah, the weather last night was god awful. Working customer service, so I got hung up on like three times. Just kind of comes with the territory. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. That sucks, but you know. As in, like, it sucks that people are the worst. And so impatient and rude. Ooh, speaking of, uh, 
how are you feeling about the Shane Dawson Jeffree Star conspiracy collection launch today? Did anyone even try to buy any? I tried and then it didn't work. I tried to buy the bundle. It, I I was there literally when it opened and then it the site crashed the second I refreshed it at 1 p.m. Eastern time. And then I had the bundle in my cart once the bundle showed up on the website because not all the products were up right away. And then I tried for like two hours refreshing and trying to get in and then it just never ended up working and it was sold out by the time anything loaded or I could try again. So, you know, <laughs> I'm not that pressed about it. I don't really care. Like I want it, but I'll just wait for the restock. Some people are just being impatient and rude to like Shane and Jeffrey, which is dumb. Like it's not their fault. The servers just couldn't handle it. <laughs> Technology sucks sometimes, and obviously it was going to break everything. They literally broke the internet, so... Oh. Haven't seen it. Just got the mini, though, I think. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's a few things that aren't sold out that I could have just done, but, like, because I want everything, I'm not gonna spend the money on single products. I'm just gonna wait for the bundle to be around again. Uh. Good for her, though. That's nice. Like, I'm excited to get it at some point, but I'm not too pressed if I can't get it immediately. I'm sure they'll restock with how crazy the demand was and how many people still super want stuff they didn't get to. <laughs> Screamed at today and got cake, so a win. Overall. Sounds like a win. <laughs> I mean, cake. Cake solves everything, so... Hello. I already reset Devante and was trying to get him to go to sleep before we came back from commercial break, but... Being a problem child, as always. Let's see. Is this one of those two-day pills? Okay, 22. 22 hours. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take that buff off for the date, honestly. I don't want him high on the date. <laughs> Which there's a way to autonomously take out. I might take out the... Is there a module for the Wonderland pills and Slice of Life? Can you just take those out? Because I don't like the Sims just constantly autonomously doing them all the time. Like, in some games, fine, but this one, I don't really want it happening all the time. I think my coworker thinks I hate her, so there might be some drama Monday. Oh, goodness. I really can't type. I mean, I wasn't screamed at today. Oh! Well then, definitely a win. Cake and not being screamed at even if people are just impatient assholes. Fuck them. So nice. You can't take the drug part out? Cool. I'm gonna do that then. I'm gonna make a note for myself to, <laughs> to do that. I didn't know if it was included in something else that definitely wanted in there. Like, if it was included in the just overall drama system. But if it's its own module... Perfect. I'm not gonna stop and do that right now, obviously, but for next time, they won't be popping pills all the time. Buddy, I tried to get you to go to bed for like six hours, so if you fell asleep on the bathroom floor, that's not my fault or problem. To be fair, I did put it on triple speed like the entire time it was on commercial break, just so we can try and get to the two on one date faster. So everyone's kind of a disaster because they don't like to autonomously do much when I have it on hella fast, but, you know. We're gonna roll with it. It's not that big a deal to me. Buddy, sleep. I ruined the pattern of wearing red and pink for the Bachelor episodes as well. We're in blue today, but... Like I said, it's been kind of a laid back and exhausted day in general, so. <laughs> all in all, everyone's Halloween was good. I think so. It seems like I'm ready. Again, all I did was kind of just get drunk with my, one of my friends and talk all night long, so. It wasn't super duper Halloween-y, but um, I was happy with like our costumes. I mean, Gav and I did Shaggy and Velma, which you can see in the Discord if you want, if you haven't yet. And yeah, even if no kids showed up for trick-or-treating, it was still fun. Had a good time. 
Would you like to say hello to stream? It's the Shia time of stream. There we go. Hello, everyone. Now get away because you're distracting. <laughs> you look so fucking hot, me. I am. Why, thank you, Jenna. I appreciate it. I thought I did too. I was like into it. The wig was bad. Both of our wigs were fucking awful, but that's Amazon's fault. And I was like, whatever. It, it conveys the vibe. They're mainly just the wrong color. Like they're so much darker than what it looked like online. But I didn't care that much. I was, I thought the outfit looked really good, so. And I like hot and glasses, so I, <laughs> I knew I could rock it. <laughs> Even though I can't fucking see out of these glasses here. I have them next to me. These are gobs, technically, but look at them. I've cleaned them, but they're so foggy and nasty. Like, they just have, like, a frosted lens, almost. Like, I I can see through them, but they just... Oh, they're so foggy, they give me... Not a headache. They're just really uncomfortable and difficult to do anything with after a while. So I took those off pretty fast. Okay, what's everyone else doing? How are we all feeling in the morning? Everyone's a disaster, like I said, but that's not anything new. Just kind of rolling through some whims here. I'm for sure not getting rid of this woohoo with Devante one because she's not happy with him right now, but I want to hold on to hope that they can repair it. I think they can. I think they definitely can. It's just going to take some time for her to... To calm down. And I don't know if she's, like, not happy with him. She's just... She's sad seeing him flirt with other women. So, she's just got a lot to think about. And not the best hand... What? Not in the best headspace right now. Holly was good. Stayed in and watched Meg in Twitch. Rivals playing Dead by Daylight. Oh, nice. It's a good night. Was enduring the weather, but it really got bad in the morning. Oof. 56 to 70 mile an hour winds. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Glad you're all right. I don't know. Can you be killed by wind? Probably not. But it's definitely a lot to deal with, though. Glad you're safe. And did you say your power went out or no? Your power did go out. Okay, yeah, that sucks, though. Yes, very glad you're safe. <laughs> Wait, what general area are you from? You obviously don't have to say your state or where you're from. You don't even have to answer that if you don't want. The city took its toll. Woof. Ugh. Oh, that sucks, buddy. I'm sorry. Elva kind of rocks the disgusting, dirty look. Not gonna lie. If you're from Russia, I swear to God. <laughs> Get another Russian cryptid in the chat. Oh, Haven's calling. Nice to hear from you, but save it for the reunion. <laughs> Are you mopping the carpet? Oh, I guess there's water on the carpet. Uh. Okay. Interesting. I feel like Elva rocks most looks. You're not wrong. She does work. Eat con, don't care. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna kind of fast forward through until noon so we can get to this two-on-one. <laughs> Posey, you cannot come hang out. It's not even a hangout day anymore. Why is our maid standing out here? There were power outages, traffic lights blew up, their posts and trees were down. Goodness gracious. Oh, 
Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Thank you. I don't want to set the game time. I, like, I could set it till noon and skip all this shit, but... The game seems to kind of break when I try to set the game time with UI cheat extensions. So I try to not do that. <laughs> we'll let Devante sleep a tad bit longer and then get him up so we can head out to our group date. It's coming up right at 11.30. Wake him up now. Or not the group date, the two-on-one date. No, I mean, it's kind of a group date. It's a very small group date. All right, and it is noon, so we're about to head out. We are going to be going to the Elixir Lounge for our two-on-one date tonight. So once this loads in, we'll find that lot. And I'll show you who's going to be going on the two-on-one. So again, two ladies enter, only one returns. Whoever still has the lowest score at the end of the date is going to be leaving immediately. There it is. There's the Elixir Lounge. So, the way it ended up shaking out is that the two ladies with the lowest scores that will be on the two-on-one are going to be Elva and Reagan, actually. Reagan's really dropped in the ranks. I... I think he really wants to use this as a, a test, this two-on-one, you know? Because Elva's... They have a good bond, but again, she gets mad at him when he's all flirty with other people just because she doesn't like flirting. And she's gotten mad, like, if he's trying to be, like, a little affectionate or hug him and stuff. So I think he wants to test out, will she be able to push past those walls that she has up and maybe form a romantic relationship with him, even if she's not a flirty person? Or is that going to be a deal breaker for them? And same with Reagan, I think he wants to test this because last week she came out really strong confessing her attraction and stuff and every time she sort of tried to get more romantic with him, it's felt awkward and they just both ended up embarrassed every time so far, so I feel like this is the real test of can they make it romantically or is it just never gonna actually jive together. This is where I feel like Devante really needs to figure out his feelings towards Reagan because they got in kind of an argument during the mingle day, which I don't think he appreciated that really bumped their relationship down i'm not gonna lie that was pretty detrimental and kind of the reason she's here i would i would bargain <laughs> and it's it's top nine we can't be playing games reagan Devante doesn't want to be fucking around you know it's down to the wire so no more second third fourth fifth chances this is your last chance can we make it can we have that kind of connection it's almost like I predicted Elva would have a hard time. <laughs> the Reagan one's a mystery to me. Me too, honestly. Like, Elva definitely does make sense, but Reagan, I was shocked to see here. She really shouldn't have started yelling at him during the mingle day, honestly. I'm not exactly sure who it, who it would have been if she hadn't. Oh, it would have been, well, I don't think it would have been a surprise. <laughs> I'll say that much. I don't want to tip you off as to what the scores are too much, but the other one would have been a completely not a shocker at all if him and Reagan hadn't gotten into an argument anymore and kind of, I think, pushed him to say, all right, we need to sort out our relationship right now before we move any further forward. Okay, oh my god, she looks very intense. I'm gonna do a scope the surroundings thing again. It never... Devante's never attracted to anyone, but... <laughs> Might as well try it out. They're both walking away, but... Which, it's definitely working, because I was playing a bit of my personal Bachelor game, and it worked fine, so... Just not the most into the girls here, apparently, according to the Wikuwim's attraction settings. This is a really cool little lounge. Oh, there's like a VIP area up here. That's why she looks intense. We have a bouncer. Got it. Okay. So it is up to these ladies to make a real impression. Whoever is still the lowest is going home right away. I'm going to bring them all down here and have them start a conversation with both of them. And then let them autonomously take it from there. But I'm thinking too, should we... I think we should have each of them... Throw a flirt at Devante and see how that goes. Just to kind of try and test out that romantic relationship with both of them. 
Because I think that's all you really need to suss out on this roof date. Well, these fountains are kind of obnoxious. Can I turn these off? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, it doesn't look like I can. <laughs> I might take them upstairs. Oh, I saw a romantic plus heart. Oh! <laughs> okay, Reagan going in for that autonomous flirt herself. Look at you. She knows the game. I think this might be a hard fought battle, honestly. I'm going to actually like direct Reagan and Elva to both flirt with him at some point to see. I'm gonna I'm having the girls do it because I think it's unfair to try and throw a flirt Elva's way because we know she's a flirty, that's just not gonna go well. But if she does it herself. I don't know how Devante will react. That's what we need to figure out. Okay, yeah, these fountains are annoying. We're gonna talk upstairs. <laughs> Let's go chat here. Hopefully that brings all of them since they're all in a conversation. Yeah, there we go. Cool. The slot was obviously built after the stair curving update. <laughs> Simeon, get out of here. This bar is dead. Okay. They're standing in a super weird formation to have a discussion, but, you know. Whatever floats y'all's boats. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this one to see if he has any about Elva and Reagan. He pretty much never does. Yell at Ari! <laughs> Bitch, Ari's not been around since episode one. Fucking relax. Oh, he wants to chat with Reagan. Okay. Why do you have to know about Ari? Be mischievous. Did, is she at this lot or something? Hold on. Oh, oh, goodness. Oh, they straight up left Elva alone. Okay. Elva, you need to put in some work because you're losing momentum here. They're sitting down alone together. Chat with, what's this one? Oh, flirt. He wants to flirt with her. Maybe having a night to sleep on it and think about her strong feelings towards him has actually made him realize he, he does have feelings for her. Maybe not as strongly yet, but that they're getting there. Potentially. I definitely wanted to check if Ari was like here or something. Because why is he getting a bunch of whims about her? Hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah, she's here. Okay. So Ari's here and fucking some other girl in the toilets. Got it. <laughs> Y'all let her leave her alone, man. That's not why we're here. Oh yes, Elva, get back in the conversation. You got this, girl. Hold your own. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. That was towards Devante. Reagan was looking at Elva when she made that flirt, and I was like, excuse me? Oh, she's she's uncomfortable from witnessing a crass act between them, my goodness. I'm glad she joined the conversation again, though, and put herself out there, like, keep going, girl. Is Devante walking away? Okay, he was gonna go order a drink. Oh, he wants to flirt with Reagan again. I'm gonna pin that. We will do that, for sure. But I wanna pull him out of this conversation a little bit. Oh! Well, he's attracted to the bartender again. Excuse me, Sims. But I'm gonna pull Elva... Over here, out of the group conversation, real quick. Because she wouldn't, she definitely hates when people flirt in front of her, so she wouldn't want to flirt in front of a bunch of people. Go get your drink. I'm just gonna give Elva one fair shot at this, you know? Not to sway it, I just want her to get one, one romance to go on with him. I think he'd want to, like, pull her aside more privately and have a talk as well, like, with both of them. Why don't you two go over here? We'll have Elva try to flirt once. See how it goes. I have no idea how Devante will respond. 
I don't even know. Can you do romantic interactions? Isn't on flirty soon? Okay, yeah, you can. Oh my goodness, they're all. <laughs> Pathetic pickup line. Anxiously confess attraction. Ask completely inappropriate question. Crudely compliment appearance or futile flirt. Those are all really adorable, actually. Oh, I never play with unflirty sims. They're so cute. Oh, we'll try a futile flirt then and see how it goes. This poor girl. I actually think her and Devante didn't have too bad of a relationship, and then seeing a bunch of the f him flirting with a bunch of women really was taking it down because it kind of takes a dig on the relationship every time she gets mad at him for flirting. Oh, okay. So it might have been a futile flirt, but not that futile to Devante. He responded positively to that. Why was the bouncer like freaking out though? That's darling. Is Darling not flirting as well? Because otherwise I don't know why they would be upset. Do you have to use the bathroom? Oh god, you do. Fix that. Oh, he's feeling flirty. Okay. Oh, part of me wants to have her do one more flirt because it just like, they just kind of stopped. They clearly sat down to keep talking and then they stopped, but I don't want to push it, you know? Oh, Jesus Christ! Do y'all mind? Some people really are desperate to get on television. We don't need to give them the, that energy, though. Now look. Mm. I was hoping that we'd continue to go somewhere, but she's so awkward. Should I let her, Elva have one more flirt? Or is that... Is that then having too much influence? <laughs> Do we give Elva one more, like, opportunity? One more little push? Oh, Jesus Christ! What is happening? Ari! Put your clothes on! Hello? Sims. Okay. Her some clothes, hopefully. Oh my god, why is she like burned? Oh. Are you you okay? What is that happening? Okay, screw it. I'm gonna let Elva have one more flirt at him and then I'll one more try. Okay. Sounds good, Marty. Glad you agree. Okay. Oh, she's feeling confident. We got a bold pickup line now. I'm not gonna go straight for that. That seems a little uh <laughs> Feebly ask on date. Let's try and crudely compliment appearance. I wanted to do something a little different this time, but one more shot and then I won't direct anything more. If they keep talking, they do. If they don't. That's her own demise. <laughs> she got a little bit of liquid courage, you know, going a little bit better. Okay, I'm proud of you. I think she wants to stay in and wants to give this a shot. It's just like really awful for her to try. It's like really uncomfortable for her to put herself out there like that, you know? So I'm proud of her. No matter what happens, no matter how these scores shake out, I'm proud of Elva today. For throwing her hat in the ring. Reagan, why don't you get back up here? Alright, she wants to have her first kiss with him. That's so unfair to like throw a kiss into the ring on this date, so I'm not gonna have her do it on this one. If she's still in the competition, we will try again at the party, uh, like we did last week, but I'm not gonna force that on this date. He wants to flirt with Reagan though, so we'll throw one more flirt Reagan's way. Time is winding down, but there's still an hour left, you know? One or two interactions might be the difference between staying and going on this one. When they went in, their scores were pretty damn close, so. Hello, Reagan. Oh, she's going up, okay. Cool, cool. Loud fountains. 
get another drink. Devante needs a bit more liquid courage Aww. to be able to send someone home. Because that's got to be intimidating, for sure. Knowing that in less than an hour, you have to send someone home and end their journey. Send them home cold and alone right after a date. <laughs> Throw one more flirt. Oh, and Elva didn't like that. Does she not like it because of the unflirty thing? Or is there more behind it for this one, though? Who knows? Just saying. He wants to ask a risque question. Okay. Ew, Reagan, that's not... I don't think that's the best way to win his heart, but... What do I know? Do you see the funny picture I tagged you in? Not the time haven. It's a very tense moment. Girl, you're just kind of watching from afar. Come on, get in the conversation one more time. Okay. It's 8 p.m. <coughs> gonna let it go tonight. I'm gonna have him do one more friendly interaction with each other. I'm not gonna push anything romantic. I just want one more, like, group conversation. Like, the final last ditch effort to see who will come out on top. And then we'll call it. I don't know. I'm, like, attached to both of them, and I just want to give them the best opportunity. Uh, possible to keep themselves in. Let's have one last chatter on the bar. Had a little bit of alone time with both of them. Had some group time. One last, like maybe this is when he's also saying to them, like you know, oh, this decision's gonna be really tough. I need some time to think about it. But thank you, ladies, for coming here with me today. Okay, that really did not start a group conversation. So I guess that's where we're gonna call it. <laughs> we had one more interaction. <laughs> Please tell them, you know, it's a very difficult decision. He's gonna have to go think about it on his own a little bit. Actually, here. We'll have him go... Go sit on this chair. <laughs> Look out at the scenery. Contemplate your life. Contemplate your feelings. Really get in tune with who he can see a potential future with. And whose journey's gonna be coming to an end. This is good. This looks contemplative. Oh, yes. Look at him getting in tune with his heart. Alright. I'm gonna pull up this screen again and I'm gonna go tally these scores. And then we will see who will be going home right now. So we have Elva and Reagan both put in a good battle during the two-on-one date. Uh, Elva's had some trouble in competition being on Flirty, you know, Reagan has had kind of a bumpy up and down road with Devante, but I think this group, this two on one date really solidified um, Devante's thoughts and feelings towards a certain someone, and unfortunately, the person that is going to be leaving us today on this two on one date is going to be Elva. She put in, she fought hard, she did a good job, but Reagan really was putting on the romantic moves, and oh, you're back, you're back, Jenna. Well, you, good, <laughs> good timing, yeah, you called it. Unfortunately, Elva just couldn't quite break through. She, she threw in a couple good flirts, but unfortunately, it just wasn't quite enough. We'll try one more awkward hug with him as she heads on out. Um, but Reagan hasn't given up. You know, she has some strong attraction and feelings. Oh boy, <laughs> he's not into it. But, oh, I'm gonna just have Elva go home and then I'll kick her out of the house once we're back. But Reagan definitely has some strong feelings for Devante. And he wasn't sure how he was feeling about her, but her persistence and like not giving up or letting it get too awkward between them, even if she's maybe frustrated with him not quite being at the same emotional level than her yet, um, I think he's starting to feel it back a little bit more. 
and he wants to give her some more time for his attraction to grow with her as well. So Reagan is going to be getting a rose. I was just seeing if it was available for the romantic interactions there. It's not yet, but we will give her a friendly gift. We'll give her a rose. Or should we do... No. Okay, this is going to be the last week of giving friendly roses. We're going to only give them as romantic gifts next week moving forward, but... I'll talk more about how we're going to get more romantic in the coming weeks. There you go, Reagan. You got your rose. You are still in the competition. Congratulations. You need to put in some work, but you are safe for the week. And we'll send both Reagan and Devante home now. No one-on-one -on -one time this time. But I feel that we've all learned something from this. Don't enter a dating competition if you're on flirty. Fair. That is fair. I was also wondering how that would go. Oh, hey. Hey, Haven. Haven's hanging out, peeping on what's happening on the show still, even though she's out of the competition. <laughs> Did I send Regan home? Okay, she's just running home a different direction, sure. But I wasn't sure how well Elva was going to do either being on Flirty. Again, I just randomized all the sims, but I thought I'd give her a shot. You know, I thought maybe she wants to have... I think she does kind of want more of that connection. She just doesn't know how to do it and... Maybe she'll discover after this that potentially she just doesn't really want a romantic or sexual relationship. Maybe Elva is like a certain hero. We don't know. But she she gave it a good shot and I'm proud of her for at least putting herself out there. And I think she did like Devante. I don't know about how romantically she did or how much that was her trying to force herself to be romantic and flirty with him because she knows that's what he wanted. We may never know. Maybe we'll find out at the reunion hear from her, but... I'm sad to see her go. I was maybe hoping that if her and Devante got close enough that some of the flirting would potentially come more naturally between them and it wouldn't be too big of a struggle. Guess it was in the end, though. So we'll actually kick Elva out of the house once we get back here. Okay, so yes, Reagan has... A rose for the week, so she's safe. Put her down on the list, because I had one spot left on my on my list for writing down the scores after the party. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no. You don't get to be down here. And he's still <laughs> wanting to talk to Joanna about being his girlfriend. Okay, buddy, you need to go upstairs. That's not how this works. Oh, God, I guess I better... I better reset this grill too. Wait for him to teleport. Do, 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 do. Hello. He's making potatoes. Okay. Um. Excuse. He definitely teleported for a second and then teleported back. Game, what are you doing? And we'll fast forward through the night, get through it pretty fast, hopefully. So we can get to the one-on-one. -on -one. I think we'll be happy with the results of the one-on-one -on -one date this week as well. Okay, there we go. We'll reset him to... Is that... No, that's not Pearl in the back here. Oh, that's Elva. Okay. We need to send her home. She's getting in one last... <laughs> one last swim in the big pool before... Uh, she's gonna have to leave, so actually... Why don't you go over here, Elva? Get out of the pool. Walk out of the house. It's your final walk of shame on out. Thank you for participating and having your presence in the house. I think I was mainly rooting for her because she made it this far, being on Flirty, you know? Oh yes, give one more iconic look here. Ugh, 10 out of 10. A queen, okay. We will now move her out of the house. She can join her other loser friends. <laughs> Oh my god, I thought I was about to crash for a second. I literally got so fucking scared. Okay. Go move in with Haven. Yes, yes. Into the loser household. 
Oh, poor Joanne is still very sad. Uh, doing a workout, working through some of that. That sadness and jealousy. She really did do well considering. Exactly. I totally, totally agree. Accurate description. Thank you. I try. I don't feel like I'm very well spoken today because I was hungover most of the day. But I'm trying my best. I didn't want to not do bachelor because I have fun with bachelor even if my energy levels are a little low, you know. I was really excited for this episode for the two-on-one. The two-on-one is always a fun one to do, I think. It's always one of the best episodes in the actual Bachelor, too. Because everyone gets really fucking dramatic and intense. You saved as soon as I was typing in. <laughs> Good looking out, though, Jenna. Glad we're on the same wave. Like, no, I was just waiting to get Alva moved out of the house, and then I was like, we need to save this progress especially because I don't think it was about to crash I think it just lagged for a second but it it scared me in those menus man <laughs> all right everyone's going about their nightly activities I think oh no we only we have nine sims left in the house so we're almost down to just the general game eight which means it should be running pretty well by next week we will only have eight sims in the household and it will be running spectacularly hopefully been so drunk I've thrown up and never had a hangover. <laughs> nice. I mean, I feel like I've never had a bad hangover. I just was a tiny bit fuzzy for most of the beginning of the day. But I feel like that was also attributed to the fact that I'd barely eaten the night before. And I hadn't eaten at all until later in this afternoon. So I think that was really adding to it. But I was like a little fuzzy and out of it for a bit this morning. And I'm definitely okay now. I'm just still sort of tired and, I don't know, drained from a busy week. I've definitely thrown up before, though, too. <laughs> I get you, Jenna. <laughs> Recovering, yeah. Noah hates getting drunk, so he always makes sure I drink water and shit. That's very sweet. That's good of him. I'm glad he's there to, to keep an eye on you. <laughs> Oh my god, Roosevelt, please. Pearl's out here doing some yoga this time. Shirt glitching a bit, but... Threw up at his aunt's house. Right, you were messaging me about that when that happened. <laughs> oh, I love you, Jenna, you're great. I can't wait to get drunk with you when we see each other next. At his grandfather's 90th? Oh, I didn't know it was his grandfather's 90th. That's kind of iconic. <laughs> Get lit for grandpa. I was not the only one, and one of his other ants threw up on the floor of another ant's wake. <laughs> oh my god. Also kind of iconic, not gonna lie. Ugh. I'm glad more people are utilizing the game room up here. I feel like no one was all season. Finally getting into the, the gaming spirit, ladies. Sounds like great stories. Absolutely, Marty. I agree. Haley, what you doing? Why are you drinking plasma pouches out by the trash? This isn't the best setting for a meal, I feel like. Do a little bit of a whim check as we go here. Oh, yeah, Reagan still wants that first kiss. Well... You're still in the competition, so we will hopefully get that soon, Reagan. I believe in you. We can maybe do it at the party this week. Oh, someone must have finished those baked potatoes.
It was great because no one judged her or anything. And they just cleaned it up and we bring it up as, oh, how crazy was that? Not judgy at all. Yeah, that's really wonderful. That's good to hear. I know you were telling me, like, when you got drunk and threw up that it was nice that everyone was super not judgy and, like, nice about it and it wasn't even a problem. So that's that's good. I'm, I'm glad <laughs> his family's so chill and nice and down for the party. I don't know why everyone constantly wants to watch the televisions in the gym. Like, you have a huge television over here with nice comfy couches. But do your... To each their own, I guess. Oh, we need to we need to make Elva's picture black and white, right? We never do this on stream, but... Here we go. Black and white. Bye-bye, Elva. Another one on the bottom row. Even it out a little bit more. Nice. I felt so bad and ashamed to know it was like, no one gives a shit. <laughs> I totally get that. That's so awesome that they weren't making you feel like that, though. Just don't internalize anxieties about it. Because me too. I would totally be so nervous about that as well. You're truly part of the family now, Jenna. I, like, wasn't even meaning to get drunk last night for Halloween. But, like... My friend Caruso, who was at our Halloween stream, uh, Wednesday night, our Man of Medan stream, uh, he was in chat a little bit. <laughs> uh, he just came over because both of us had nothing to do for Halloween, and I was like, sure, come hang out. And then he brought over like three bottles of wine, and we finished them, <laughs> so, because <laughs> we were just like, fuck it, we might as well. I'm not doing anything today or tomorrow, let's just keep drinking and hanging out all night. Oh, oh, excuse me. Excuse me? Tuesday? Tuesday's getting frisky on the balcony. Alright, you have fun, girl. It is an interesting locale. But you do you. I'm not gonna... Speaking of being non-judgy, we're not gonna judge her. I was just not expecting it. Maybe she's jealous and, you know, wants to get in on some of that action. She's not actually had to have a hookup because I've canceled it every time they've tried. <laughs> I, can't, I can't keep track. I don't remember who's actually fucked Devante at this point. I know he's tried it with almost everyone, but I don't remember who I actually let sleep. I know Delphine and Angie. And then Johanna and Rosabelle? Or that, is that the only ones who he's actually, like, slept with, not just attempted to? That's her preference. Um, Tuesday's, I mean, I don't know exactly what she's doing, but Tuesday's doing something on the balcony. Whip me. Rub one out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> having a little bit of frisky fun by herself in the little serene massage area that no one uses. You know what? Someone's finally using a nice balcony area I made, so I appreciate it. Go for it. No one even ventures out onto that balcony. So props. Probably why she's using it. See, we like Tuesday. I get why you guys are fans of her. <laughs> Still going out. Oh, Devante's awake now. You're actually sleeping through the night now, baby boy. Proud of you. Everyone else is still all embarrassed and uncomfortable. Looks like we had kind of a little family dinner out here last night. Or breakfast? I mean, it's early morning, but... Kind of a peaceful day in the house. Not too much drama, though. I mean, I'm sure people are sad that Elva went home to see her leave. I don't know how close anyone was to her, but... <sighs> I'm also tired, because I definitely should have slept longer today, but I needed to be up by one for the Shane Dawson palette launch. <laughs> Which is... 
futile anyways, but I at least had to try, of course. Oh, Haley doing a bit of yoga. I feel like we never see their athletic wear outfits, so nice to highlight that where they are. Not the best, but she's trying. Me too, Haley. I support you. <laughs> Johanna on the Foley work. Haley's so cute, like... I don't know, I want to do more with her outside of the series, I feel like. I really like her. Okay, y'all been standing out here all night. Priscilla! Excuse me? What are the toddlers? What are you talking about? I don't... Did Priscilla have children? I don't remember. I don't think she did. Was she talking about someone else's? Because she's in the household of some of the other girls who I think had children. Oh, Pearl's the only mom left, isn't she? Yeah, she's got the little kid. Oh my god, Uzai is a child now, right. Oh, that's so weird. He's like an infant when we started. Boy, we've been doing this series for a while. <laughs> Our bachelor actually lasts years in Sims 2. Angie, come on. Oh, it's already 8 a.m. though. That's good. We can quickly move on. I'll have Devante get something to eat. I don't want to make him make something. Just get a quick meal. Have some cereal. Then in just a couple hours, we'll be going out for our one-on-one -on -one date, and I'll let you guys know who that is once we get there. Gotta think you guys will be pleased. Someone who I know the public likes but doesn't usually get a ton of time on screen, so it's finally time for her to shine. It's good to hear. Yeah, I was really happy when I saw that's the way it shaked out with the scores. Oh, why is Tuesday all sad now? Oh, she's super lonely. Well, you're the one who decided to masturbate for like four hours alone on the balcony. You can go talk to people if you want. That's not my problem. Everyone having such a bad time taking care of themselves still. Well, at least <laughs> not daydreaming. Who was he thinking of? Oh, Lena. That was the bartender at the last place. But you gotta stop getting hard on for the bartenders on the dates and then fantasizing about them later. You have so many beautiful- you still have eight beautiful women here vying for your attention, your love, your hand in marriage. Oh, wait. I think it just kind of hit me that one of these eight are gonna become as his wife. That's so crazy. We've come so far already. We're about halfway through. We've, you know, obviously cut a huge chunk of people in the first half of the competition. Okay, he's been on the toilet forever, but it's almost noon, so we are going to go out. On our one-on-one -on -one date. We'll just let it actually reach noon real quick. Oh, okay. Alright. So the one-on-one -on -one date, we're going to be going to a karaoke bar for the date. We're going to be going to La Bella Luna Karaoke Bar. Where is that at? Oh, right here. Yes. And our one-on-one -on -one date, the girl with the median score this week, is actually Miss Tuesday. Yes. She's been a fan favorite since the start. She's not gotten a ton, a ton of screen time so far. They've always had a pretty solid relationship in the background. She's always one of the highest roses, but it's finally time for her to get some on-screen time and for her to get a one-on-one -on -one date 
with Devante. I'm excited to see how they get on alone. This should be fun, so. Do a little bit of karaoke, a little bit of hanging out. They have a strong friendship. And they've kind of, they've thrown a flirt here and there, you know, kind of tried to hook up and production stopped it. That's not super atypical in this house with most people. But let's see how strong of maybe a romantic connection they have when they have some time to just spend with each other alone. Let's see if more flirts or sparks fly. No pun intended since she's a, mag a witch. Not a magician. That feels insulting to call a true born spellcaster a magician, but. Okay. I'm gonna save right away, actually. Just to be safe, because that loading screen jumped a little bit and it scared me. <laughs> and we always gotta be paranoid. Better safe than sorry. Always save, exactly, Marty. Glad y'all get it. Tuesday does look hot in her everyday wear. Like, she's stacked. Oh, and he's already kind of given her, like, some sweet eyes. I like that expression he's throwing her way. Oh, she's doing so badly. Let's fix all that and pretend like she didn't... Uh, just pleasure herself all night and actually took care of her needs. Okay. Oh, hello. So let's let's get inside first before we really start. Ooh! Oh, this is like a nice place. Okay. Wait, I want to kind of pause and look around for a second. Oh, this lot is gorgeous. I really like it. It is much fancier than I was expecting. But that is okay. Oh, we have like some private rooms over here. Maybe we'll go to one of those at the end if she gets a rose. Oh, it's like private booths to watch. Watch the stage. Well, I didn't think it was that higher quality entertainment for the karaoke. It's not like we're booking celebrities here, but this is a weird little area that have stairs that has stairs to it. Let's go in, and we'll definitely do some karaoke, though, in a minute. Let's just sit. Or do we want to sit and chat for a moment? We can go sit back here. Go sit together. I'll have them strike up a conversation real quick, and then once that kind of peters out, we'll do some karaoke. Look at this nice stage. I am impressed by this lot, whoever made it. Again, all the lots that they go to for dates I've taken from the gallery. And I don't have the usernames written down, but the lot names that I say are their official lot names on the gallery, so you can look them up if you really want. This is La Bella Luna, like I said. Walking kind of slow. It feels so dead and silent for a karaoke bar. We will strike up a friendly conversation. Deep conversation. We'll just we'll get right into it. Hey, and hopefully they'll autonomously continue it. Oh no. Oh, darling is here. The bouncer from our last date who got in a fight with Ari. No, it wasn't Ari. It was some other random bitch. Then Ari came up there, naked, right? Oh. Oh, hook up in closet. Should I let them hook up in closet since they're on a date alone? I'm gonna cancel it for now. I'm, it's it's we just started the date, you know. But I'm gonna have him throw a romantic interaction at her. In yeah, for bad stop. I will throw a romantic interaction at her in place of that. If they want to hook up later in the date, though, I might just let it happen. Let's just compliment her appearance for now. <laughs> we'll let them hook up later if they really want to still. Just, yep. Got plenty of time on this date. You need to get to know each other a little bit. First. I 
I guess that's a good sign that he's really trying to like sleep with her though. Oh, she is feeling flirty. We gotta sit down and keep flirting a little bit. He's not quite to flirty yet. Alright, just, just getting to know each other, but that's good as well. This is a nice soft candlelight. Set the romantic mood for them. She really matches the decor, and I appreciate it. Oh? Yeah. Okay, they're trying to hook up again. <laughs> oh, I said I'd let them do it next time, didn't I? Try for baby. Okay, no. We're gonna sing some karaoke. That's why we're here. We're gonna sing a duet. Country duet, I guess. If they try again, I'll let them, but I'm stopping them if it says try for baby. And I'll make them do a non-try for baby one. Darling, get off the stage. It's our turn to thrive now. It's gonna be very bad. Can we like make her leave? <laughs> go away. Okay, there we go. Well, let's get a good shot of this. Woof. Enjoy. Everyone, enjoy the quality entertainment. A plus for passion. For a country duet doesn't win me an acoustic guitar. I mean, that'd be pretty impressive, but do I want to hear all of them attempt the guitar? Maybe not. Wait, do either of them have guitar skill? Look back my notes on their hobbies. Someone was into guitar, I don't remember if it was either of them. Oh, that was an abrupt stop, damn. That was awkward. Okay, no, neither of them are into guitar, so... <laughs> Thank goodness I didn't need to play it on the acoustic as well. That would not have sounded good at all. I think it's dumb that you can only do country duets when you're at very beginning singer skill stages in The Sims. <laughs> I want to do different ones. But that was cute nonetheless little bonding experience. Oh, it's happy hour. Well, I think we need to go get some drinks then. Let the conversation flow a little more. Where's the bar? Is it only up here? It must be, okay. There's no bartender. Hello. Never mind, I guess we won't get drinks then. <laughs> There's no one to make drinks. That's great. Don't make yourself food. I'm getting tired. All good, Marty. I obviously totally get it. Thank you for uh, stopping by uh, it all and hanging out for as much as you could. I hope you get some good sleeps and I'll talk to you later, love. Night, night. Oh my god. Everyone's always just having sex at all of our date locations. Go grab your date. Talk about your dreams. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so stupid. There's a bartender and a bar right here. Order happy hour drink for a group. Um, let's just do a couple vodka sodas, sure. Not for the group, but yep. Just have them both do it. <laughs> I didn't mean to cancel that one. I just want them to go get drinks, but if they oh <laughs> I swear I didn't mean to cancel at that time. 
<laughs> I was just trying to click on Devante and then my mouse slipped. <laughs> Next time I'll let them. I'll, I'll make them woohoo in the closet before this date is over since they clearly want to so badly. I think that'll make Tuesday happy. She was clearly in the mood last night but didn't have anyone to do shit with yet. Now's her chance. Oh, she looks all sad. She's embarrassed. <laughs> no need to be embarrassed here. Listen, that performance was embarrassing for both of you, so you can bond over that embarrassing moment at least. Is this Travis? Is the bartender? No, Malcolm Landgrab. Oh, yikes. He's an adult now. That's scary. Okay, just gonna sit and wait for your drinks. Gonna talk at all. Do you have any whims about Tuesday? Oh, there we go. There's one. Be friendly with Tuesday. Perfect. All right. We'll throw another friendly interaction towards her then. <coughs> Discuss embarrassing mood. I think that's good. Just call her out. Talk, talk it through with her. Make sure she knows that, like, you don't need to worry or feel embarrassed, girl. Like, no shame here. I'm here for you. Here, take a fish fact. Oh. Be propositioned. Is this, um, hooking up in the closet? <laughs> I have a feeling that's what it is, but I'm gonna, you know what? Go for it, you guys. You got a drink in you. Oh my god, they canceled it that time. I swear I didn't click anything. Where even are the closets in here? I guess if I do it, I can make sure it's not risky with who either. Are they upstairs? Yes, they're. Oh, it's right here. It's supposed to be like it's supposed to be a coat closet or something. Then in the, in terms of the, the venue. Okay, I guess I have to click on her. I'm so excited for Shower Woohoo to be back with the university. Ugh. Okay, hook up in closet. Go ahead. You crazy kids, go for it. You feeling confident? Now you've been dying to get it on with each other. Head on up. Everyone is horny this episode. <laughs> like, everyone in the world. Oh, there we go. Didn't mean to fast forward so much through that. Oh, break out the candles, make it romantic. Tuesday's about to woohoo for the first time with Devante. Oh, the mirrors are making a trip out, too. Oh my god. Talk about going out with a bang on this date. Oh, what does she want to do? Cloud gaze with him. Oh, that's cute. Um, it is 8 p.m., which means it's time to round out our date for the night. I'd say it was successful, though. Kind of a quiet, chill date, like most of this episode's been <laughs> in game and with me. But that, nothing wrong with that. That was clearly a good time for both of them, so she definitely deserves that rose. I don't know how much of a romantic connection we really formed or explored on this date. Um, they at least explored some kind of connection. But it definitely went well, so Tuesday, why don't you take your rose? And earn your safety for the week, and then we will head on home. I think we're gonna round up this episode a little earlier than usual tonight. We're making good time now that it doesn't lag constantly with four billion Zims in the household. I say is it's being slow. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Nothing happened. Take your rose, take your safety. She didn't like it. It's fine. Maybe she really did want that to be romantic after, you know, she just let him fuck her in a closet. 
Which that would be valid. Go ahead, y'all head home. Did I send him home too? Yeah, I did, okay. Successful date. Tuesday finally got her date with him. She's doing well. <laughs> Joanna's all heartbroken. I'll explore that more once we actually get back to the home lot. But the poor thing. Ugh. Protect her. Oh my god, I'm sorry I'm so yawny this episode. I mean, I told you I was exhausted, so. Oh, so few, few of them left. Just looking at my list over here in my notes. I feel like this party, this pre-ceremony party is gonna be really pivotal, just like the hangout this week was. So a lot of scores are pretty close still. Any interactions you can get are very crucial at this point to make an impression with Devante. It is now or never to form that connection with him, ladies. Main cleaned our house, did she though? Did she really? Elva, what are you doing here? <laughs> Elva's visiting and reminiscing. Girl, you were evicted. Go home. Devante, get your ass up to your sequestered apartment. <laughs> Love in strange places. Woohoo <laughs> in closet. Nice. <laughs> When he's thinking about his first time woohooing. So Tuesday reminded him of losing his virginity? Is that a good sign or not? I guess as long as he had a good memory of his first time, that's a good sign. Here, we'll save again after that successful date. Where's Tuesday at? Yeah, she's definitely feeling better. <laughs> she still wants a cloud gaze, right? We'll do that at the party. We definitely got a couple whims to take care of at this party, which I guess I will say what we're uh, having this week, even though it's a, a bit off at this point. But we'll fast forward to get there soon enough. So I just set up the backyard. We're going to have a little bit of like a garden party, kind of like a tea party type. Real classic and sweet and romantic flowery little garden party this week so we have a little bit of a fondue fountain you know we'll start the fondue once we start the party we got some rose petal fountains they can toss some coins in maybe make a wish that Devante gives them a rose that night some beautiful lanterns that I haphazardly placed <laughs> so we're just gonna hang out and have a little garden party this week and I gave them all some cute new kind of soft gardeny party outfits to wear for the occasion means we get to see them in some new looks as well which I'm excited for even though I gave it to them I'm very excited to see them in some different clothing I'm tired of all their outfits Johanna why do you just look terrified and are just sitting there treading water okay she's not heartbroken anymore at least she's just still drifting love oh but only 17 hours so hopefully that'll perhaps kind of fade away she'll be a little more receptive to trying something with Devante again by the time that we have the party. Maybe? At least by the talent of the party, she should be in a better mood. Okay, yeah, literally, let's just fast forward through. I want to get to this, honey. Johanna, you're freezing. It's cold out. Sudden chill from swimming. Get out of the pool. <laughs> this is not the Hunger Games, this is The Bachelor. 
Do not kill yourself on accident. We're not doing Hunger Games yet. Wink, wink. Okay, so Johanna wants to woohoo with him, which I don't think we'll be getting to at the party, but gonna have there. Tuesday can definitely cloud gaze with him. Angie doesn't have anything about Devante. Okay, he doesn't have anything. He wanted to... He wanted to make out with Johanna, right? That's probably not gonna happen at the party either. I mean, we can... We can see how it goes. Potentially that might come up, but I kind of am doubting it. Oh, Pearl, you need to take care of your scales. That's disgusting. No one wants dry scales. That's so nasty. Okay, Roosevelt doesn't really have any... Delphine wants to chat with someone, but not super specific there. Volunteer, what a good soul. Reagan still wants that first kiss from him, so we can maybe try and get the first kiss with Reagan at the party. She does already have a rose, doesn't she? She's gone into a lot of ceremonies already having a rose. I will say that for her. So, as much as she kind of sits near the bottom of the totem pole, she really puts in work and does- she's impressive at the dates, at least. Is that enough to win the competition? We'll have to see. She at least knows when she her butt's on the line and she needs to put in work, though. standing around because I'm fast forwarding. I'm just trying to get through to the party time tomorrow at 5 p.m. pretty fast. <laughs> I mean, that's the most interesting part, right? We just want to get to that. Oh, right. I haven't reset him. I've been trying to make sure I reset him every time that... Nope. Every time we teleport him at this point. Since he seems to fuck up every time he teleports. Oh, oh, it's a TV season premiere. I guess I'll leave that one. They can do that if they want. I'm not gonna make them watch TV. Oh, we should have had like a TV slumber party. That would have been a cute idea. I'll, I'll keep that on the idea board for the next time we do Bachelor. Cause that'd be a fun little like pre-ceremony party, little slumber party. Delphine, you were right by a bathroom. What was Roosevelt doing, like, over here, actually? Just standing behind the bar. She's been over here for a while. Is she still just sad because of baby fever? No, because she's lonely. Well, luckily, we have a party soon. You can mingle, hang out, get some of that social energy up. They should make, like, introverts and extroverts in The Sims. Because I know there's the loner trait, but that just means... How does the loner trait work? Does your social go down when you're around people? They should have it so there's, like, introverts and extroverts, where The Sims, who are extroverts, their social kind of goes down when they're alone, and then it starts going up when they hang out with people. But 
for introverts, it starts going up when there's less people around or they can hang out by themselves. And starts going down when there's like too many Sims. It just decays slower. That's what I thought. So having more of like an extrovert introvert as far as like whether you, they're social, treating them more as like an energy bar, whether their social energy gets recharged by being around people or being alone. That'd be kind of fun and cool to have, I think. Oh no, oh, jo oh I didn't bump people's gourmet cooking skills up. I didn't think about that. Please don't burn, you know what? No, I'm literally gonna stop her. I don't want this happening. I don't want the house burned down. <laughs> I refuse to let this happen. Just help. You're fine. <laughs> How much longer is this? Seven hours? Okay. Oh, she'll definitely be totally fine by the party then. So maybe we can make out with her and get in it, you know, make a couple moves on Johanna. Because she'll be feeling much better by the party. That is very, very good news. They've had such a strong run so far, I don't want to see it ruined over just a little bit of flirting, you know, but... I mean, I'm not gonna necessarily wish for them to be saved every time, because if that's continues to be a big problem for them, maybe she's not the one. It's still anybody's game at this point. There's a lot of game left. Even if it's not a lot of contestants left. Lots of time to make your mark on him. Go to bed, my dude. Constantly have to take care of these damn saves. <laughs> Who is Angie upset? Why is she getting threatening texts? Or like, what is this? Some nasty texts. Who have you been fighting on your phone? As usual, we're just gonna kind of power through them being disgusting and not taking care of themselves until our party at 5 p.m. Which I'll probably start having the Peter out kind of around two or three in the afternoon. Uh, Cause I sort of wanted to start the garden party slightly earlier. I don't want it to be too sunny still because Haley, but Haley can kind of stay in this shady area. I feel like we need to have it a little more in the afternoon, early evening, than kind of moving into real evening time. Since it's a garden party, it doesn't need to be as dark and sultry. It can be a little more sunny and bright and summery. Okay. Alright, our music is on. And, oh, well, first, actually, I'm going to have Devante go fill the fondue. Is white chocolate an option? A fountain with with sparkling apple juice. You know what? I want sparkling apple juice. I'm gonna cheat his mixology skill up a little bit first. <laughs> Literally, just so we can serve. Does he not even have mixology? I want to serve a sparkling juice fountain. That sounds great. Um, cheat some info. Then I don't even have to fill the, the drink tray. We can just get drinks out of the little fountain. That's very classy and garden party y. Where? There we go. Sparkling apple juice. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Sparkling apple juice fountain sounds fucking lit. Ooh, yes. There we go. Okay. Get a glimpse at some other people's outfits here. Supreme? I made sure Haley had a little sun hat, you know. Try and block out some of that heat. Rosabelle's already taken to dancing over here. Get it. She's got the most vampy look out of all the garden party ones, but 
that's her style. We'll get Tuesday to come join the crowd as well. Oh yeah, Johanna and Angie are over here. Yeah, there's Tuesday. There we go. Alright, and so... Oh, Delphine's gone to dance, but Pearl's standing right here. We'll throw into Pearl, then we'll head over to Delphine. Express happiness, that's cute. Start with a little hug. That's nice. Ooh, right in front of Reagan, though. If they start flirting, I don't know how Reagan's gonna respond. Will she assert her dominance again and insert herself in a bunch of conversations like last week, even though she already has a rose? Got it. I didn't really know that Pearl was sitting at first. I just saw her like suddenly go down, and I was like, "Oh my God, Pearl, that's incredibly forward," and I wasn't expecting it from you. But I mean. Love the confidence, go for it. <gasps> oh, she asked him to hook up and he said no. Ooh, that didn't go great. <laughs> Even Reagan looked awkward at watching that. Woof. Okay, they're getting along well. We're having a bit of a dance. P Sims dancing over here. We'll oh, Delphine's thinking about Devante. That's a sign. Oh, wait. Oh, she's already going to autonomously talk to him. Perfect. Oh, that's a sign that we need to bring her into the conversation then. She's already bringing herself in. Oh, did she try flirting again? And he was like not into it? Oh, we asked for sex, Delphine! Jesus Christ. Excuse me. That is incredibly forward and I'm gonna <laughs> stop it for right now, but we will throw another actual interaction with Delphine. It's not. Um, oh, what was he? Oh, flirt, flirt, do that. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna like set it up for him to flirt with Delphine because that was autonomous. I just accidentally canceled it out by adding in a friendly interaction. So we'll cue that back up again for him. I don't wanna, I'm not gonna stifle your spirit, Devante. You go for what you want. For sure. Thunderway, see how it goes. I'm impressed with Delphine putting herself out there this week. She's realizing the stakes of the competition at this point, I think. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, Johanna's isn't blue anymore. Oh, she's feeling flirty. Good. Good, good. And it's flirting happening behind her, but she's not noticed, or at least isn't bothered this week. And that's great. I don't want them to be in a tedious position again. Okay, I'll let this conversation continue just a little bit longer before we go. Yeah. Cloud gaze with Tuesday. Oh, some more flirts being thrown, I think. Share that TV premiere season spirit. Pearl's really uh putting it all out there. Oh my god, wait a second. Not to be like very uh, explicit with Pearl. Oh my god, she's leaving. Oh, what is happening? Oh no, no, no. No, no, no. We're not gonna try for baby in the middle of everyone at this party. <laughs> I guess that has really brought the conversation to a halt, so we'll go we'll go cloud gaze with Tuesday. She wanted to do that, right? Yes. So we'll have her pull on the side. Instead of him pulling her aside. Cloud gaze. I'm not gonna let them do that for very long, so I don't want to take up too much of the party on that because, you know, she already has a rose. Oh, that's bold as fuck, Tuesday. Going straight in for the cheek kiss right in front of Pearl. Damn. <laughs> Pearl is all embarrassed. Angie up to. Okay. I might do the thing again too where I just I make sure I get a, a interaction for everyone at the very least as well and then we'll throw some more specific attention towards some other people that you guys would like to see more interactions with. You can throw more names out there the same ones yeah, like if you want to throw the same people a bone again. Just let me know if there's anyone we should uh, specifically try and talk to you tonight. 
as the party goes on. We still have a couple sim hours. Uh, we'll for sure be ending this episode by 12 Eastern this week as well. We're making oh, great time. Uh -huh. I'm gonna stop them at 8 p.m. though. Sim time. There we go. Okay, you got some good cloud gazing in. That was cute. I mean, they're cute. Um, she still wants to woohoo. He wants to make out with Johanna. I don't think you can just go up and make out with her. <laughs> I don't think they're there yet. Or they were after that damn uh, date, but you know what? Kiss. Let's kiss her. Reassure her a little bit. We'll call that for the win. Instead. Oh, oh, she wasn't. Oh, okay. She doesn't like when he just goes up to her and is like pretty bold with her, it seems. Hug her. There we go. Going for a hug. That's nicer. Patch that over. Every time we just tried to straight up go for the kiss with her, she's pushed us away. But you hold those boundaries, girl. I'm proud of you. I love you, Johanna. I think also Joanna's maybe more of a private person than I was thinking she was, or Devante was thinking at first. Cause she has gotten kind of bothered. Like, they were really hot and heavy on their date alone, but that's because they were alone, I think. And she, like, pulled him to the side when she first kissed him, so... Should I let them woohoo because she wants to woohoo with him? I'm gonna let them do this because, like, she has a whim for it. And I didn't think we were gonna get that done this week. But if she was into that idea, then fine, go for it. I'll stop it if that caused pregnancy, but... Okay, anyone else that we should make sure we throw some attention to? Oh, we should- Reagan wants to get that first kiss still. We can pull him aside in the fireplace room for that. I'll have Reagan go in there already. Reagan does have a rose though, so I don't want to spend too much time. If it comes up almost right away, then sure. We'll go in, we'll do it. But if it's gonna take a bunch of work and me trying to push it... Not gonna happen again tonight! Reagan, hello. Oh, well, okay, I'm getting rid of that whim. You woohooed with him. <laughs> that counts. <laughs> What's it now? Oh, she wants to kiss him. Okay. Alright, she's getting in more favor with him again. Oh, she also wants to make out with him. Okay, girl, you haven't even kissed him yet. That's the whole point. You want to have your first kiss with him still. Maybe after such a successful two-on-one date with her, he'll be more receptive to it. I'm just gonna have her flirt once if the kiss interaction doesn't come up after autonomy. Like any autonomous flirting and stuff pretty soon. Again, we won't push it for tonight. Not gonna help them in facilitating these relationships too much. Alfonso This is kind of cute sitting down, talking some more, though. Good sign. Oh, I thought it said smooth recovery somewhere. <laughs> when did you fuck up this interaction? Arva, Umi, you. There's an hour left of the party. Any other names of like people should we definitely Oh no, oh I didn't mean to do that. Any other names in our last hour of the party that we should definitely pay some specific attention to. Okay, yeah, the kiss interaction still has not come up, so we're, we're not gonna force it any farther. I'm gonna get Devante back out there. Oh, what does Tuesday wanna do? Cloud Gazing. Oh, you did. These whims are just not popping. 
Get out here in the middle, bitch. People are out here drinking in the middle of the party. Oh, Rosabelle, that's a good one, yeah. We can go start a conversation with Rosabelle over at the fountain. Maybe some of these other ladies will join in, hopefully. Um, go compliment her outfit. She needs to get some attention. Yeah, she's pretty much gotten zero interaction this episode. Oh, no, no, no. This cloudy is, like, way earlier, but... Still have some good faith in Johanna, so I don't think she needs it. Nice. Oh, my God. We're having, like, a real gathering at the fountain. <laughs> the juice fountain now. <laughs> Join the party. Join the circle, Devante. Oh, she gets a little cheek kiss too that's cute they don't really have that much of like a romantic super duper romantic thing going on yet but he's still going in for the cheek kiss that's sweet i like it oh they have to use the bath oh hold on let me bump their needs up again <laughs> we don't need you guys worrying about bladder and shit right now okay and who should we give our pre-ceremony rose to <gasps> oh rose about throwing a flirt in there okay Get it, girl. You go for it. Yeah, we're gonna wind down the party now, so we need to give out one more pre-ceremony rose before. It's gonna flirt with her again. I'm I'm kind of conflicted on who should get the pre-ceremony rose because part of me wants to say Johanna just because she was feeling kind of insecure about it, but then they kind of seemed to patch that up again at this party like they did kind of sleep together they were feeling a little bit better but she did reject that kiss and him and Rosabelle uh, not gonna yes. let have sex because we need to move on but him and Rosabelle did just hit it off so part of me feels like maybe Rosabelle put a little more effort into putting herself out there right now and just really make a romantic connection with him that I don't think they really had on a strong level before so I'm kind of thinking Rosabelle at this point I feel like Johanna or Rosabelle put in the most work. I mean, they ta he talked to Pearl, but there was a couple awkward denied hookup and flirt interactions there, so I don't think Pearl should get it again. He only talked to Delphine for a tiny bit. Delphine did put herself out there and ask for sex, like, right at the beginning, too. They just vibe so she would make sense. Who, Rosabelle? Who are you referring to, Jenna? God, let me know your opinion as well. Rosabelle? Okay. I agree with that, because I think that most naturally kind of flowed there tonight. I mean, I know we, like, made him go talk to Rosabelle first, but then once they started talking, I didn't, like, start flirting. They just started flirting and had a bunch of romantic interactions right away. I feel like she did put in a strong impression. What do you think of? I kind of want to hear your input on that but otherwise I think we're gonna go with Rosebud. I think Rosebud's gonna get this last pre-ceremony rose. Oh she wants to be mischievous to Pearl. I'm gonna at least have Devante start to head over to Rosabelle. All right. Sounds good you guys. So Rosabelle's gonna get I think this is her second like pre-ceremony party rose that she's getting. So we will take her over there. Behind her rose. We'll see if the like romantic rose interaction comes up. It probably is not. Um, so we'll make it romantic if possible. If not, we'll just do it friendly, of course, and then we'll switch to romantic gifts next week. Yeah, him and Rosabelle are for sure vibing. So you definitely deserve this rose. Rosabelle, congratulations. All right, yeah, it's not popping up. So we'll give her a friendly gift. We'll give her a rose. There we go. Take it. Congratulations. You yet again have safety before even going into the ceremony. Yeah, for, she for sure wanted that to be romantic at this point. I think she thought they were going over here to fuck because that's what they originally were going to do. And then I told them no. <laughs> but you can at least give a rose. I was just sad because the gift didn't go over well. Sure, she's thrilled. She just wants a little more from you, Devante. 
But she is safe, so she can definitely have next week to get some more from him. <laughs> but with that, we got all of our pre-ceremony roses given out. So Reagan Tuesday and Rosabelle are already safe. I'm going to take another short commercial break. Shouldn't be more than a couple minutes, uh, of course. But I'm going to go and tally these scores, see see what it is, see what it's going to shake out to, and see who the last person to go home for this episode's going to be. One more person is heading home to join Elva and the Losers Club for tonight. Uh, feel free to speculate, of course, who you think might be going out. I think it's a bit of a toss-up between a few names, at least. But I guess we will see when I'm back from commercial break, so discuss your theories. I will tell you the scores and be right back, you guys. Oh boy, you guys. Okay, let me get caught up with you guys. Let's see. Who do you think is going? Yeah. Um, so I got what I think Pearl's in danger and what did Haley do this episode? True, Haley didn't do much this episode for sure, for sure. Like, we barely, I don't think we even saw her this episode, honestly. And then, uh, yeah, I don't care about Pearl, <laughs> just her bones sometimes, right? And then I did see you say that. <laughs> it's pretty savage. She's not done much, and it's Haley. Uh, God, saying Johanna's is your favorite, then Reagan, and then Angie. Solid. Those are solid favorites. Kind of worried for Angie. I don't know. We'll see. I have to tell you, though, I think... I don't think the elimination is the most surprising in the world, but I think it's a little surprising. Like, I was- I literally gasped out loud when I saw who had the lowest score. And it's marginal, but... Oof. This might be a kind of dramatic one, you guys. But they are still in their cute little garden party outfits, and it is time to get into the rose ceremony, though, and see who the last person to leave this episode to join Alpha is going to be. So of course we have Reagan Tuesday and Rosabelle over here. They already got their roses. <laughs> you scared? It might be a little bit shocked. Like it's I don't think it's the most surprising in the world, but it's a little I think it's a little surprising. I was kind of shook. So we'll get Reagan Tuesday and Rosabelle up to stand next to. Them. I feel like they're all portraying such different aesthetics in these outfits too. <laughs> Can't believe it's Delphine. I don't know, I'm not going to say anything yet, we'll just have to see how it shakes out. <laughs> um, okay, let's see, let's get Reagan, Tuesday, and Rosabelle up here. Reagan's had a lot of times, plenty safe going into the ceremony standing up here, you know? This is like, like her assigned seat. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no, Jenna, don't worry, Jenna, like that gov. I mean, I'm not confirming or denying anything yet, but... Okay, we'll get them to face the crowd. Also, just savor this rose ceremony, by the way, because this is the last rose ceremony that we're going to be having in this location for the season. So take it in, savor our last one in, in this little setting. We have some gorgeous settings for the next few rose ceremonies, but last time we're going to be seeing this. Also, I mean, last time we're going to be seeing this house, actually, so I hope you've been enjoying it, but uh, this last episode, so... We're going to be moving on to some bigger, better things next time. But we'll get to that after this dramatic illumination. So we got our girls with roses up here. I, I pinned Reagan's to make out with them as well. We'll get to it eventually. <laughs> she asked him to fuck. I'm pretty sure they flirted. That's true. She did boldface go up and be like, want to go hook up? <laughs> so that, that's something, right? I was just literally just going to say that, Jenna. Yeah. That, I mean, that's something. But here we have our five still in danger. Angie, Johanna, Pearl, Delphine, and Haley. Our first rose of the night is going to be going to, no surprise, who is at the top of the people that are still in danger. It's Johanna. Johanna's absolutely going to get a rose. I don't think we need to worry about her. They, I mean, it was a little bit of a rocky week because she wasn't feeling super hot on him. Just kind of feeling sad and jealous, you know. But they definitely patched that up. She's gotten over it. I think... You know, she's got her game face on again, for sure. <laughs> My girl, exactly, God, don't worry, your girl is plenty safe. She's got her rose. Oh, look at that. She's making her flirty pose. She's back in the game. She's back on her feet. Had a bit of a, you know, down week, but she's ready to play now, I think. Okay, actually, face forward, please. But There we go. Oh, the <laughs> TV season premiere was awful. 
Oh, well, you guys, relax. All right, so Johanna's got her rose, of course. Next rose, if I'm really honest, I don't think she'll win, but I just want the best for her. <laughs> Big mood, I want the best for Johanna no matter what happens. Uh, the, I feel like the finale is gonna be really dramatic, whoever ends up there. Okay, that's jumping ahead a few weeks though. Right now we need to give our next rose out to give the fifth place of safety. Jenna, you can relax because don't worry, Delphine is definitely still up there and she's getting the second rose of the night right after Johanna. So, Delphine, you are for sure still safe. Wasn't like around a ton this episode, but like they still have a connection, of course, you know. She did ask him to go fuck, so come get your hug, get your peace. Peace of mind, your place of safety for the next episode. You're still in the competition, girl. Oh, oh, you mean Delphine. I don't know if she'll win, but I totally agree. I want the best for everyone that's left. I honestly do have an attachment to, like, everyone that's left, really. Pearl, shut your damn flippers up. <laughs> when it's all tense and then this bitch just starts squeaking. <laughs> okay, because, I mean, it is kind of tense. Because look at this. We're down to our final three. Only two more roses are going to be given out. I'm going to give out the last one and then I'll give my little two cents like I usually do. We'll let it get down to final two before I give an overview. Um, Angie, Pearl, and Haley in the bottom three. So whoever these last two roses are given to, they definitely need to put in some work to rise in the ranks to kind of, you know, penetrate the, like or like cross that bar that the ladies that are already safe have set because they've been putting in work you ladies need to step it up whoever's safe but our next rose of the night is going to be going to Haley. i think they've cooled off a little bit she really wasn't around this episode but they've always had a good connection whenever they do interact and i think that's you know still on Devante's mind they don't really have much of a romantic bond yet but that could that could come, you know, they get along super duper well, so Haley is getting a rose. She's gonna come get her hug. Still stay in the competition for the next episode. She's made it to the top seven. Congrats. Oh well, <laughs> Pearl is out. She's gotta be <laughs> really interesting. Right, I know. I I wasn't sure if Haley was gonna I was worried for Haley as well, you guys, but she's she's actually, you know. Sort of mid-road, but mid-road is really not a good place to be at this stage. <laughs> okay, so we have these six are safe. Only one more girl is going to make it into the top seven. It's either going to be Angie or Pearl. Now, they both kind of had a rocky road so far. I just hope she's... <laughs> I just hope that's what she stops fucking squeaking. Me too, Jenna, honestly. <laughs> Oh, both the ladies in blue. The the ladies that I put in blue are in the bottom for tonight. Look at all this color coordination with Devante in this shot. But him and Angie have kind of been up and down. She wasn't super prominent at first, but, you know, she's really put herself out there each week. She was the first one to sleep with Devante. Like, that's got to account for something, you know? Um, but they haven't seemed to super duper continue talking and hitting it off a lot. Like, so it has been a little rocky. I think that's appropriate for both of them. They've had a rocky relationship because him and Pearl have kind of gotten along whenever they're, they talk, but the past couple times when they've sort of tried to flirt or she's tried to put moves on Devante, he's not been into it. He's kind of not been there. So is there really a romantic attraction or any kind of attraction towards Pearl? He has tried to fuck her a couple times, but it seems really like rocky waters with her for the pun. If Angie leaves, Devante's a fuckboy confirmed. <laughs> well, we'll see if your suspicions are confirmed, Gov. Uh, I think they might be because it seems like Devante wants to give one more chance to a certain someone. And actually, Pearl is getting the last rose of the night. It is fucking marginal. The score difference between her and Angie is only five points. And I was fucking shook when I read this, but Pearl has squeaked on by for one more damn week. She needs to put in the goddamn work if she wants to stay next week for 100% certain. But our mermaid, a little squeak toy, still in the competition. 
Get your hugs. Stop talking to him. Nope, nope. Take a selfie. Last, last place in the top seven. Come over here. Is that all she's good for for him? All Angie's good for is a quick fuck. I don't know, I guess. You're already kind of a fuck boy. He kind of is, honestly. Listen. I didn't control that, Devonta. I'm sorry about trying to be kind of fuck boy, but that relates to the real one, you know? Also, if you're in this show in the first place, you're already kind of a fuck boy. Oh, right. Yeah. No, for sure. <laughs> But I was shook. I literally gasped when I saw that Angie's was so low. Because honestly, Angie has a more romantic bar with Devante than Pearl. But like, their their relationship has really petered out. I think maybe, maybe Devante has realized that it just is maybe a little forced with Angie. Maybe he is only sexually attracted to her and isn't really feeling those like emotions. You know, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it just feels a little stilted and like put on for the show perhaps like whenever they do interact because they don't really continue conversing after you know a couple couple flirts couple interactions so oh, angie boy. come get your last hug i'm so sorry to see you leave unfortunately you are going to be leaving us tonight though still feeling florida she doesn't seem too heartbroken at least uh good on you I, I wish the best for angie as well we'll let her walk on out of the house as we wrap up here for tonight. But Angie will be joining Elva as our second evictee for the night. Oh, she does look kind of down now, though. Poor thing. <laughs> I'll have to break the news to Eggie sometime during the week. But thank you for competing and spending time with us. You are definitely one of the hotties of the season, for sure. But your time has come to an end, and you will not continue to be in the running for Devante's heart. So we can all say goodbye to Angie. But on a positive note, that's the wall. But this is your top seven, you guys. We are at the top fucking seven of the competition. So we have Johanna, Delphine, Haley, Pearl, Reagan, Tuesday, and Rosabelle. I think Pearl's the real wild card here. I don't think any of us expected her to get this far, including me. But she did it. She put in just enough work to get by. Will it be enough to continue past next week? I guess we'll have to see. We'll have to see in Solani. Because next week, we're going to be moving into a tropical paradise. We're going on our tropical vacation with the top seven. It's time for a new location to get serious about this competition. Going to be moving into a gorgeous little beach house. We're we'll doing some beach activities. And so the group date's only going to be with the bottom four instead of seven, because obviously there are only seven of them left. So we'll have a group date with the bottom four, and then a one-on-one -on -one date, and a little beach party. And then only one person will be leaving next week. So from here on out, only one person's going to leave each week. So less heartbreak each time, since we're more attached now. <laughs> the hottest left is Johanna, like they're all hot. Johanna is pretty sexy, true. How the fuck are Haley and Pearl still here? I don't know, man. I, a couple of our occults. Oh, Tuesday's an occult, too. Got a couple of our occults still squeaking by. I'm kind of glad Pearl's here, at least for one beach episode, being a mermaid. She can swim in the ocean where she comes from instead of the pool again. Rosabelle, though. I think Rosabelle and Johanna are two of the hottest. I definitely agree. We got an attractive bunch of ladies left, though. We'll let them move around a little bit. Uh, Haley's thinking about love. I'm excited to see what beach shenanigans they get into, who hits it off, you know, in yeah. Solani with Devante. Uh, we're definitely going to be ramping up the romance as we continue forward as well, so uh, make sure you vote in the favorites poll for next Friday because we're going to start changing it up where all of the favorite votes interactions, whoever gets votes in the favorites poll is going to get a romantic interaction from here on out. And that could be super crucial in this competition because now we need to be making those romantic bonds, you know? Just friends, you're gonna get cut. And I'm gonna be putting priority over romantic relationship bars to friendship. I'm not gonna be combining them anymore when it comes to figuring out who's going on dates. So that romantic connection, super duper important. How's Haley gonna live on the beach? Haven't quite figured it out yet, but we'll make sure she doesn't die. <laughs> Pearl's gonna love it. Haley's gonna hate it. There's too much sun. <laughs> At least those dynamics should be interesting 
to watch and it'll be interesting to see who makes it into the top six so be sure to be here next friday at 9 p.m to see the first episode of our beach adventures uh hang out I'll, i'm gonna give them little tropical makeovers as well <laughs> but i will see you next time i love you guys so much thanks for being here and i will talk to you later Mwah. good night everyone <laughs> <laughs>